So we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Tucking our tummy in at our navel. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. This helps us relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we take a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, our thumbs are touching the center of our chest if that feels good for you. Slightly gazing the eyes downward as we relax silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. Allowing our palms to relax on the sides of our bodies. Our fingertips are connected to the earth. We are using our palms to connect and soothe with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, right here, right now, in our present moment. Simply being aware without judgment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, palms are together. Interlacing those fingers together with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. That heart chakra's open, chin is up. Allow the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. This is also a heart chakra pose as our chest is lifted upwards. We're going to hold this two more breaths. Exhale into center. Coming back to that seated salute, palms are together above our heads. As we separate our palms coming into that seated extended mountain. Now taking a notice between the two poses and our seated salute, our palms are together. And our seated extended mountain, our palms are separated. We're gonna hang out here with our heart chakra open and our chin up. Take a nice breath in. Exhale. As we flow our hands to a seated star, bringing our palms slightly further out towards the side, we are now in our star. Notice that when we bring our palms outward towards the side, it's working a little different parts of our arms and our upper backs. As we take a nice breath in, exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth. As we gaze over that left shoulder, we are in that seated twist. We are relaxing and soothing our spine here in our twists. Just taking a moment to notice how this feels within the body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming back to that star. Palms are outward towards the side. As we breathe in, exhale, twist the body towards the opposite side. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that shoulder, feeling that seated towards opposite side. Allowing this to soothe and decompress the spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths.
Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. As we flow to that seated extended mountain. Exhale into our salute. As we breathe our palms, heart center, palms come in front of the chest, relaxing those shoulders downward, away from our ears. Tummies are tight, spinal cords are nice and long. Seated prayer, three breaths of silence. Breathe in. Exhale. Flowing our palms back up to our seated salute. Exhale into that extended mountain. Palms are separated. As we allow that right palm to come downward towards the earth. And we're going to lean our bodies towards the right. As that left arm flows over our head, we are in that seated side bend. You'll feel this here in your side body. Feeling that stretch. Optioning to come lower to the earth if that feels good for you, bringing that elbow closer to the earth. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, back to center, coming into that seated extended mountain. As we bring that left palm downward towards the earth, lean in the body towards the left as that right arm flows over that head, seated, side bend, opposite side. Now we can slightly gaze up at the heavens if that feels good. Noticing that when we gaze up, we open up that heart chakra a little more. We also can option to lower that elbow closer to the earth, coming deeper in that side bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Both palms are connected to the earth as we are tuning in to our environment, taking a moment to notice how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, simply being aware without judgment. During our session here today, you may have thoughts and emotions. May we take notice of what is going on. Just realizing, non-judging, always being kind, and loving to oneself. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Noticing how the breath feels within the body. Maybe it relaxes and soothes. As we bring our feet to a bound position, coming into a diamond or butterfly, our bound poles, the bottoms of our feet are connecting. Tummies are tight, spinal cords are nice and elongated, connecting our hands to our ankles or our feet, lifting that heart chakra up, chin is open, it's up as well, allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades. We're finding our bodies in a bound cow pose. We're going to hold this for three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle. Tummies are tucked, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. We are in that cat pose. Two more breaths. Flowing back to cow, chin comes up, heart chakras open, head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Flow into our cat, chin comes to clavicle, tummies tucked, spinal cord flows to the back. Exhaling back to center, we are in our diamond or our butterfly. Now, taking a moment to notice that the diamond and a butterfly looks identical, but they feel a little deeper in a hip flexor. The diamond or the butterfly is a deep hip flexor. It relaxes and soothes and opens up those hip muscles. Now, in our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies, and that is a diamond pose. Legs are shaped like a diamond. And our butterfly, the feet are closer towards our bodies. This is a little deeper of a hip opener. So when we have our clients and they say they have tight hips, we can put them in a diamond first and gradually work their way up to that butterfly. 
and to go deeper in that hip flexor, we can slightly hinge at the hips, allowing our torso to come downward towards our feet. Noticing that when we hinge forward, you'll feel it a little deeper here in those inner thighs. So we are working on flexibility, opening up those hip flexors. As our shoulders melt forward, our head relaxes downward towards the earth. We're just going to take nice, subtle breaths, allowing our body to notice how the pose feels within. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up, coming back to that diamond or that butterfly. Using our hands to bring our knees together. We're going to straighten our feet in front of us, coming into that staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Our toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Our backs are nice and elongated here. Tummies are tight, shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. Maybe our palms are relaxed on our laps as we are gaze forward. Slightly gazing those eyes downward or closing them if that feels good for you. And we're going to relax here, silent meditation, for three natural breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens, heart chakras open, chin is up, interlacing those fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Lifting that chin up in the air, feeling this slight back bend. Two more breaths. Exhaling back forward, breathing those palms at heart center, coming into that prayer hands. And we get a slightly hinge at the hips. That's allowing the torso to come downward towards the thigh. Optioning to reach down to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. We are now in our seated half forward fold or seated complete forward fold. And you'll feel this behind your legs here in your hamstrings. So if you ever have a client that has tight hamstrings, putting them in a half forward fold or a complete forward fold, allowing that head to relax downward towards the knees will really stretch those ligaments in the hamstrings. This is a full body stretch. As we take a nice subtle breath, exhale. And we're going to relax here for four natural breaths. Maybe slightly pointing those toes downward towards the earth if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold. Coming up to our staff pose. <sighs> Taking a moment to check in with body. We're going to lift our right foot up in the air. Right knee is up in the air. So right foot is flat on the earth. Right knee is up in the air. We're going to work on our stage with reaching. We're going to cross this right foot over this left foot. Just notice how that feels in the body. If this feels good, we're going to take this right hand, bring it behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. As we cross this left elbow over that right knee. And we are gazed over that right shoulder. We are feeling our Sage Marici twist here. It's relaxing and soothing and strengthening and stretching. We're going to hold this for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. We're going to uncross that foot, coming back to that staff pose. And we're going to switch sides, lifting that left knee up in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. And we're going to cross this left foot over that right leg, taking this left hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us, crossing this right elbow over that left knee as we gaze over our left shoulder. And we are feeling this nice deep twist here in the body. Sage Marici relaxing and soothing. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, 
exhaling back to center, uncrossing that foot, coming back into that staff pose as we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute. Exhale, prayer. Hinging at the hips, coming into that half forward fold or complete forward fold, whatever feels good for you, four breaths, feeling this full body stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward as we come back to our staff pose. And we're gonna cross our feet at our ankles, coming onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. And our tabletop, our knees are hip distance apart. Mm. Arms are flat on the earth. And we're gonna drop that tummy down, coming into our cow pose, buttocks is in the air, tummies come downward towards the earth. Our chin is slightly up, and we'll feel this cow pose in our lumbar spine. This pose is great for low back pain. It soothes and relaxes. It brings us down to earth. We're gonna hold just three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, tucking our tummy in, spinal cord flows up towards the heaven, chin comes to clavicle. Two more breaths. Flow into our cow. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Three more breaths. Finding our pause at center. We're gonna extend our right leg towards the back. We're working on that sunbird pose here. This is a balancing and strengthening pose. We're gonna extend that left arm forward as we are gaze forward. We are in that sunbird pose. If we lose our balance, we can option to lower those right toes downward towards the earth as we are gaze forward. We are still in a sunbird. It's just helping a little more for balance. If our leg is up high in the air, we are also working at gluteus maximus, that buttocks. You can feel that burn by slightly lifting that right leg up, tossing it up and down, and you'll feel that gluteus maximus burn. Now, this is just an option to go a little deeper. Or we can lower those toes downward towards the earth. Four more breaths. We are going to build strength and balance here. Two more breaths. We're going to take a nice breath in. Exhale, breathing that knee into that elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. We're back to sunbird. Knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird, holding it, two breaths. Coming back to our table, dropping down to our cow, chin is up. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table, as we extend our left foot towards the back, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Extending that right arm forward. We are in that sunbird, opposite side. Optioning to lower those left toes downward towards the earth or extending that leg behind us. We also can pulse it up and down, working at gluteus maximus. Or we can just pulse it up and just hold the squeeze. Whatever you choose, sunbird, four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhaling, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. 
Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird, two breaths. Gaze forward, tummy's tight. Exhale and back to table. As we drop down to cow, relaxing and soothing here, chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, flow into cat. Coming to our table. We're going to push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, still in that nice deep stretch. Optioning to walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Finding pause, we're going to shift that weight forward, coming into high plank. We are building strength in the upper parts of our bodies, high plank or low plank. As we exhale down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Coming on to our tummies, we are now in our Sphinx pose. We are relaxing on our forearms here in our Sphinx pose. Our, sh our shoulders are not shrugged. We have control of our bodies, lifting our shoulders away from our ears. This is a slight back bend. Slightly gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. As we take a nice breath in, exhale through the mouth. We're going to relax silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow to our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, our elbows are slightly bent. We are in that baby cobra. <sighs> or flowing to a cobra, strengthening those elbows. This is a deeper back bend. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is out. Two more breaths. As we flow into an up dog, untucking those toes, taking those thighs off the earth, we are in that up dog. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down to Cobra, placing those thighs on the earth. Coming down to our baby Cobra, bending those elbows. Flowing back to the Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms, hands. We are on our forearms. <sighs> I'm just going to take a moment to Gaze our eyes downward and go inward to notice how the poses that we just did all were very similar. However, they felt a little different in the body. We are in our space pose. We went to baby cobra, to cobra, to up dog. They all look similar, yet they have different names and they feel a little different in the body. So may we take a moment to be mindful of each of these poses. So three more breaths of silence. Two breaths. Flowing back to our baby cobra, bending those elbows. Coming back to that cobra, straightening those elbows. Untucking those toes, taking the thighs off the earth, up dog. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. This is a full body stretch. Hands come downward towards the ankles or the earth, allowing that head to melt downward. Just taking a moment to notice how this forward fold soothes and regulates the heartbeat. This pose helps with anxiety, anyone who's having an anxiety attack. Just by placing our heart close to a warmth of your body can help regulate 
We relax that heart. So here in our forward fold, we're going to relax here for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Backs are straight. And we're going to yogi walk our feet apart, creating that nice stance. Exhaling back down to complete forward fold. As we sway or rock the body from side to side, noticing how when we sway or rock, you'll feel it a little deeper in your legs behind your hamstrings here. We also can find our pause and come into a rag dial by connecting our hands to our elbows. And we can also, once again, sway that body from side to side, just loosening up the body, lifting and stretching the body. Just fill in line with the movement. Four more breaths. You can sway your space still. Two breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms out towards the sides and bring them behind our backs in that down position. Bounding our hands behind our back and lifting our arms upwards. Yes, feeling that stretch here. We are in our bound, wide-legged forward fold. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Unbounding those hands, connecting our hands to our ankles, wide-legged, coming nice and wide-legged, forward fold. Head melts down. Yes, we are stretching and lengthening the body here today. Optioning to rock or sway from side to side. Finding our pause at center, coming into a wide-legged, half-forward fold. Slightly gaze forward, back to straight. As we connect our right hand to our left ankle, and we're going to wrap this left arm behind our backs like we do in our thread the needle, and we're going to gaze over that left shoulder. We are in that wide-legged reclines twist, feeling the body lengthen and stretch as we also twist that spinal cord. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, half forward fold. We are still wide legged. Hmm. Connecting that left hand to that right ankle. Wrapping this right arm behind our backs. How we doing? I thread the needle as we gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that twist, that stretch, that lengthening. Three breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, half forward fold or complete forward fold, wide legged. Two more breaths. If we're wide legged, coming up to a half forward fold, hands are right beneath those knees, gaze forward. Coming up to a wide-legged Tadasana. Palms are at our side. We are wide-legged with those palms at our side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Feeling the body relax as those fingers flow downward towards the earth. Just allowing that body to relax. Two more breaths. As we flow our palms out towards the side, we are in that standing star. Our legs are wide, legged palms are outward towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up, standing nice and tall, feeling nice and bright here in our standing star with our chin up and that heart chakra open. We are reminding ourselves who we are. 
We are reminding ourselves that we are power. We will shine. We will rise in our darkest days, our darkest nights. We will be who we're going to be, and we will make it work. We will make it last. Understanding and realizing the positions that we are in, loving our lives for where it is as we continue to grow and shine and rise. Carrying our standing star, four breasts of silence. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Feeling that nice breath. Exhale, bending those knees, coming to cactus hands. Goddess stance. Feeling that fit, feeling the goddess and God within us. We are strong. We are powerful. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. We are working our calves, our hamstrings, our gluteus maximus here. And it's got to stand still in that burn. Now we can option to pulse the body up and down in our goddess, or we can rock it or sway it from side to side. Notice in the different muscle groups we are working in our legs. We are toning and firming our bodies. We are now in our first full day of spring. Doing this goddess stance will help firm and tone the lower parts of our bodies, allowing us to look nice and tight and fit in our summer wardrobe. Two more breaths, goddess stance. Exhale back up to standing star. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Blowing our hands to our salute, palms together. We are still wide legged, interlacing those fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Arms slow slightly towards the back of the room, feeling this like that bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling. Coming to that standing extended mountain, separating those palms. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Flow into that standing star. Palms come out towards the sides. Eyes are slightly gazed down or closed. Breathe in deeply. Exhale back to goddess dance. Mending those knees. Palms come cactus hands. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads in that salute, we are in that goddess salute. Palms above the head. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale, prayer. Bring your palms at heart center. Goddess dance. Coming back to cactus hands. And we're going to pulse that body up and down, or we're going to rock it from side to side. Four breaths, building, building strength, building that burn. We can also just stay still in our goddess. Take a nice subtle breath for two more. Feeling the body get nice and warm. We're going to find our pause. Two more breaths. Build in strength. Straightening those knees. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. This is a counter pose. This relaxes and soothes the muscles we just worked. Now when they head to the back still. Taking a nice deep breath here in our forward fold. Feeling the lengthening and relaxation. This is a counter stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, walking those hands forward, bringing our feet back together, down dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we find our pause, we're going to breathe that right leg up in the air, one-legged dog, three-legged dog. Gains them at that foot. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow, tummy tight, feeling that motion here, knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. We are working the upper parts of our bodies. Back to three-legged. 
knee to elbow. Flowing back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. As we yogi walk, as we walk our dog, by pedal on our feet. As we three-legged opposite sides, left foot flows up towards the heavens. Gazing at that foot. Two more breaths. Taking a nice breath. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. We are getting our workout on here today. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Pedaling our dog by walking our feet, walking our dog, pedaling our feet. Exhale, shifting that weight forward, high plank or low lunge, which had around her, hovering over the yoga mat. More ball. <sighs> Exhaling down to Sphinx Pose, coming onto the tummy, relaxing the body. Here in our Sphinx Pose, our shoulders are not shrugged. They are away from the body. Their heart chakra is open, that chin is up. Eyes are slightly gazed downward. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling that heartbeat relax. Soothe. I'm ready. Silent meditation for natural breaths. Exhale down to a flat tummy, breathing our arms in front of us, Superman, Supergirl. Feet are off the earth, arms are flowing forward, we are flying, we are that Superman, Supergirl. This is a slight back bend. Hi, two more breaths. As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose, palms come towards the back, we're going to swim them towards the back, locust pose, palms are up. This is a little deeper of a back bend. As we connect our right hand to our right ankle, then we're going to connect that left hand to that left ankle. We are in that real pose, or I'm sorry, bow pose. This is deeper back bend, using our hands to lift our torso further from the earth. <sighs> Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing, taking our hands off the ankles, coming back to that locust pose. And here in our locust, we're going to find our pause. And we're going to allow our torso to just melt forward. Sleep in locust, just melting forward. Forehead connects to the earth. Third eye chakra connects to the earth. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward here in our sleep in locust. Gazing those eyes downward or closing them as our heart chakra is connected to the earth. As our forehead, our third eye chakra is connected to the earth. May we take this moment to go on it. May we take this time to focus on ourselves. Being mindful of where we are, who we are. Without judgment, just taking notice. Always remembering to be kind and loving to oneself. As you relax here, silent meditation for five natural breaths. Sleeping, notice.
Three breaths. As we slowly awaken from that sleeping locust, we're gonna come back to that locust pose, lifting those arms and those thighs, feet off the earth, locust pose. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two breaths. We're gonna swim our hands forward, coming back to that Superman, Supergirl. Breathing our palms next to our torso, we're gonna come into that baby cobra or cobra. Exhale into our knees. We're going to come to that tabletop pose. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to table. As we breathe our buttocks towards the, towards the heels of our feet, coming into a child's pose. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us, making it an extended child's pose. With that third eye chakra connected to the earth, we're going to relax and soothe here in our child's pose. We can option to come into a puppy pose if that feels good for you. In a puppy pose, our legs are closer together, our buttocks is in the air, and our torso is down towards the earth. So the child's pose and the puppy pose looks very similar. However, it works different parts of the lower body. Child's pose or puppy pose. It's a grounding position that allows us to go inwards. As we continue to relax for five more breaths of silence. <clears throat> Optioning to breathe our palms together, flowing into a prayer hands. Child's pose, puppy pose, if that feels good. Palms together, flowing over your head. We're going to do bonus here. Three more breaths. If we're in our prayer hands, we're going to extend our arms back in front of us. Palms are flat on the earth. And we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Using our palms to wave that body forward and using our palms to wave that buttocks towards the heels of our feet. We are spinal waving, like waving in the water, just waving that spine. This is relaxing and soothing that entire spinal cord. Just feeling the rotations here. For three breaths, let's make it four breaths. Two more waves, two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, we're going to cross our feet. We're going to come into tabletop. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles. We're going to come onto our buttocks. Just for a second, and we're going to flow onto our backs. Coming into a recline position, hugging our knees into our chest. Knees to chest closed. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat here. As we extend our legs up in the air, make it full. Reaching down towards our backs of our feet, we're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Connecting our hands to our feet, if that feels good. Taking our buttocks slightly off your legs to torso, stretch. Exhale back to legs up on the wall or invisible wall, maybe. And we're going to come wide legged, allowing the legs to flow towards the side, wide legged. You'll feel this here in your inner thighs.
Exhaling back to legs on the wall, bringing those legs together, feet is up in the air. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens. As we bring our knees back to our chest, knees to chest. Allowing those knees to flow towards the left. Recline spinal twist, knees flow towards the left. You'll feel this in your spinal cord. This is a spinal twist. Recline, knees to chest. I'm sorry, recline, spinal twist. <sighs> knees are flow to the left. Right arm is out to the side like a lowercase t. We can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over our right arm. Whatever feels best for you. As we allow our shoulder blades to melt into the yoga mat, eyes are closed or gaze downward. Feel in the body become one with the earth. As we relax, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing those knees into the chest. As our knees flow towards the right, recline spinal twist opposite side, knees flows to the right, feeling that spinal twist. Left arm comes out to the side like a lowercase p. As we are gaze over that left shoulder, or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels good, with our shoulder blades melting back into the earth. Eyes are shut, or gaze down. Relaxing for five natural breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Placing our feet flat on the earth, our knees are up in the air. We're going to work on a bridge pose. Palms are flat on the earth next to our butt. We're going to use our palms and our feet to lift our Gluteus maximus off the earth. And you'll feel that gluteus maximus squeeze, that butt up squeezing, getting nice and tight. Yes, we are in our bridge pose. We can option to interlace our fingers underneath our buttocks, walking our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. If that feels good, noticing your heart chakra, your chest comes higher in the air. We are now in that deep bridge. We can pulse it up and down or squeeze it. We can pulse the gluteus maximus up and down. Or we can pulse it up and squeeze it nice and tight and just feel that squeeze tightening and lifting our butt out here. Preparing the body for our summer jeans, our summer shorts, our summer bathing attire, bathing suits. We're going to feel the squeeze. We're going to pulse it up and down for six natural breaths. Feeling the burn here in that gluteus maximus muscle. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Squeezing it nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze. We're going to do a bonus. Two more breaths. Untucking those shoulders, un unlacing those fingers if they were tough. Allowing that buttocks to come down to the earth. Breathing the knees to the chest, hugging them in. This is a counter stretch. It allows you to soothe and relax those gluteus maximus muscles. Lifting the legs straight up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing the legs towards the torso, connecting the hands to the feet if that feels good. 
breathing our knees into our chest, crossing our feet at our ankles. We're going to do a nice tummy crunch coming up to a seated position, lifting our bodies up, feeling that tummy crunch, working on those abdominal muscles, kind of coming into that boat pose. Let's come up into that boat pose. Just working those abdominals. Just for a second, we're going to feel that abdominal crunch. We can uncross our feet if we choose here in that boat pose. Or we can keep them crossed. And we can pulse our hands from side to side, working our obliques, if that feels good for you. So today we got a nice, complete, full body workout. Working these abdominals for six more breaths. We don't got to pulse. We can stay still, front and center. Gaze forward, tummies are tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, feet down. We're going to cross our feet, coming into a cow face legs or any seated pose that feels good for you. I'm going to come into cow face legs. Tummies are tight. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we're not sulking. Always have a control of our spine with our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms and heart center coming into that seated prayer. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. That feels good. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice teaching training and self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.